Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are just finishing up your Christmas shopping, you know, you're wrapping, whether you're watching this in the daytime, maybe in the morning, I mean, depending on where you are when this, this video reaches you. But today I wanna to share with you guys what gets me into the holiday spirit. I actually have my little storybook here that I've had this ever since, oh, well, ever since I was little and I would always love reading from it, you know, every year. Um, and my, actually, my favorite one in here is actually, my favorite story here is actually The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. And if you guys want to grab a snack, maybe some hot chocolate, uh, maybe something, you know, anything, just, you know, comfort food, anything. Just to, you know, if you want to follow along while I'm reading, feel free to, or just enjoy where you are. T'was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers, they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, and was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his pack. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. The End. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed The Night Before Christmas. I honestly have to say that my that is actually my favorite story. Of all the Christmas stories that I actually have in this book, it's my go-to. It was my go-to as a kid, and it's my go-to now as an adult. And it's just, I don't know, it's just something magical, I think, about it. And, you know, it always just gets me, you know, in the holiday mood. I mean, even as an adult now, I'm approaching my 30s. And I honestly, when I read that story, I feel like I'm a kid again. I hope you guys enjoyed just listening to me reading. And I hope you guys found it soothing. Oh, and by the way, do you like my shirt? Stand up. <laughs> of course, I have to have a Mariah shirt. I'm sure some of you know that I'm a big Mariah fan over here. I hope each and every one of you has a safe and a Merry Christmas. And when we're celebrating this holiday season, it's important to remember that it's not about what you get for Christmas. 
It's about who you spend it with. So make sure you spend it with, you know, your loved ones. I know with this pandemic, this last couple years, um, it's, you know, just made, you know, Christmas a little difficult for everybody. Um, I know my family, we're, you know, it's just gonna be me and my immediate family this year. It's, it's kind of been for the last couple years, but I like it that way, you know. My parents are getting older. I'm even getting older too. And it's, you know, it's just nice just to slow down every once in a while and just spend it with our loved ones, you know, because we don't have them here forever. So it's just, it's nice to enjoy the small things. And it's what family and friends, just loved ones in general is the, to me, that's what Christmas is all about. It's, it's not about all the big fancy, you know, lights, you know, who has the, you know, the prettiest ornaments or the presents that they get. It's about spending it with your loved ones. So, had to get all sentimental because it's, it's Christmas and all, but in all sincerity, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you next time. Take care, guys.